In 79 AD, Mount Vesuvius erupted, burying the cities of Pompeii and nearby Herculaneum in over 60 feet of ash. This ancient disaster allows us to take a first-hand look into the past. Join us as we explore the nearly intact Herculaneum. Salve, guys. Salve. From ancient Herculaneum, an ancient city near Pompeii, which suffered the same fate under similar but different circumstances when Vesuvius erupted into the stratosphere. Down here is the harbor houses where the skeletons of the citizens, slaves, men and women all remain, as well as children. But let's go check this place out because supposedly it's better than Pompeii, albeit a little bit smaller. So, when Vesuvius erupted, the whole top of it blew all the way up into the stratosphere. But the first part during the first day, landing mostly on Pompeii, Herculaneum was only covered in a few centimeters of ash. So some of the citizens, being the rich elite of ancient Rome, decided to stay in their houses. This was actually a richer city than Pompeii, even though Pompeii itself was also very rich. I would like to go see what's in there, but a bit too many people. Now this place was actually discovered before Pompeii and treasure hunters during the 1700s dug tunnels beneath the place. You know, usually that would be my forte, but I'm not sure if that's even the entrance to them. There's a massive series of tunnels underneath Herculaneum where people were just digging for treasure, which is pretty crazy. I'd like to go down there. If I can find a way, I will. Just like that other ancient tunnel that we were in. And this is how the rich lived up until 79 AD when Vesuvius erupted and buried this place on the rash. Right, there should be even better ones here. But these are actually intact Roman houses. Look at this. This is like an ancient well, bathhouse, I believe. Found the Holy Grail. This is all marble. Oh, nice. <laughs> they do allow you to walk on the mosaics. What I think happened is this floor actually collapsed and this was actually a heated bath area. Yeah, you can see where the water would have once came in. And the stones like we saw in Seberus or Thurai. So this is almost an intact Roman bath, which is crazy. This is like an ancient sauna. Yeah, it's crazy, all the marble. And down this ancient Roman alleyway. Yeah, this is all original stuff. There's no, I mean, there's some reconstruction of the roofs, but that where we just were was an original roof, which is crazy. <laughs> Look at that. Now this is a rich person's house. <laughs> Look at that. That's worth seeing. That's crazy. 
y después. So those look like play masks from the ancient Greek tragedies and stuff. <laughs> this is some of the most intact Roman architecture in the world. This is not far from how the house would have looked in 79 AD. Look at this place. I do like the access to give you, not everything is closed off. Inside an ancient Roman house <laughs> of the elite. This is nuts. We're we'll head down to the ancient harbor where over 300 citizens and slaves alike sheltered from in vain. The ashes of Vesuvius. Now this is a big house. <laughs> the rich of the rich. Look at this. Look at this original marble table here. This is crazy. This is over 2,000 years old. No, this is, this is the doors. This is what I was talking about. These are ancient Roman doors. Yeah, they preserved the wood. This is, <laughs> this is, this is pretty fucking amazing. This is a little ancient Roman door. This is what I was looking for. One of the things before we get down to where the skeletons are. That's nuts. And here it is. <laughs> that is an ancient Roman bed with original wood. 2,000 years old. Ancient Roman bedroom. <sighs> nice. Look at the maker of the bricks. <laughs> ancient Roman brick company left their trademarks. Insane. These have been like waterfront properties because the ancient harbor is right down there. This is like the best of the best. Is this original? Perhaps a statue of whoever lived here. Lord of the cross. Yeah. Well, they succeeded in being remembered. Although I'm not sure if he's been identified. His face has literally been cast in stone. You know what's crazy? What's crazy? I saw this number inside the tunnel. Oh, bro. Keeps popping up. So you got your food hut, then your water fountain. So in 79 AD, during the second day of the Vesuvius eruption that destroyed Pompeii, all the debris and ash and volcanic material that was blown up into the stratosphere began to fall down on Herculaneum. And the remaining citizens, slaves, men, women, and children, all fled down here. 
So when they did choose to escape, they would have ran down through here, following in the footsteps of the last remaining people in Herculaneum. They would have came down across this ancient forum to where the water line is. I'm actually running for real because I'm getting kicked out of the park. But not uh, really getting kicked out, but they kept telling me it was closing. But down here to the ancient harbor, into the harbor houses where they died and still remain. This is amazing. This is literally the citizens of Herculaneum. Slaves, men, women, and children. All here huddled where they died in 79 AD, nearly 2,000 years ago. This is insanity. And unlike in Pompeii, these bodies were not filled with plaster. This is how it would have looked in Pompeii, but... Crazy. So, as we say goodbye to Herculaneum, we'll head through this. I believe it was an excavation tunnel, because this is all volcanic rock. But I'm not sure when it would have been excavated. Anyways. Till the next one, guys. See ya. Ciao. That's a pretty awesome place.